Mr Chair. David Clark. Oh, Mr. Chair, thank you. Um, I want to start, Mr Chair, by labelling this uh, part of the bill for what it is. It is a cynical political move. It is a very, very cynical political move. Part two of the bill is, is shameful. The government should be embarrassed by this. And we know, we know they're embarrassed because they, they haven't taken any calls. We haven't heard a word out of the Minister and the Chair all evening. We haven't heard a word uh, about this part of the bill. We saw uh, no one attempt to get up to speak to it from uh, the government benches. They know that this is simply cynical politics and it's difficult to defend. How do we know it's cynical politics? Well, we need no, look no further than the regulatory impact statement uh, published in order for uh, ministers to consider this legislation in April 2012. In April 2012, uh, the, the, the advice was written and the policy that the Cabinet considered appears to have no mention, no mention at all, as far as we can see in the regulatory impact statement of this measure, to target those who are uh, dependent on welfare to feed their families and to go about their daily business. We know this has been added on subsequently. It's been put in place to make sure that an extra kick is put in to distract from the wider impact of this bill. And, and this, is, this is not atypical of the government. We know uh, that this is a pattern. We've seen it happening. We know that uh, whenever bad news comes around, there's more drug testing for beneficiaries. Uh, there's a compulsory ECE. There's a range of other measures, which the government has subsequently admitted it can't actually put into place. But, but it uses as a distraction. Here again, we have a targeting measure for beneficiaries, one that makes it sure that they will suffer the most that they will suffer the most. It, all of those who are smokers will suffer as a result of this legislation. All of them will face increased prices. But this government is determined to make sure that those who are on hard times are kicked while they're down, because it believes that that is what is necessary in order to change the world. Well, we disagree. We have, uh, we have an all more optimistic uh, view of human nature on this side of the House. We think people actually want jobs. And if this government hadn't lost so many jobs, if it wasn't sending 50,000 New Zealanders a year to Australia, then actually people would have jobs and they would not be affected by this draconian measure, which uh, will make it much harder for those on benefits uh, than anybody else to afford the substantial increases in tobacco prices that are proposed in this bill. Uh, the Treasury in its uh, regulatory impact statement, recommends the revenue grab of $528 million, uh, that the government conveniently uh, wants to adopt because it, it is well aware that there is a, a hole in the books as a result of the worst economic record in 50 years that this government has perpetrated. And the Treasury favoured a sequence in the regulatory impact statement of modest and well-signalled increases in tobacco excise likely to contribute most to the long-term and sustainable strategy to reduce smoking rates, they say. There's a little bit of inconsistency with an earlier part of the, the advice, but, but for the greater part this is good Treasury advice. Uh, but they do say that in taxing a group of consumers that are addicted and disproportionately drawn from Māori and lower socio-economic communities, the government should ensure that programmes to educate and support smokers to make successful quit attempts are adequately resourced well implemented and effectively designed and targeted to reach high risk groups. Now that's not what we see here. We do not see anything here going towards meeting the needs of those most affected. And so in this bill, which is cynically targeted at those who are struggling the most, we do not see any additional measures, none whatsoever signalled, to make sure that those groups that are targeted are given assistance to give up uh, the smoking that we all know and accept is so harmful. So this is why I say that this is a cynical political move. We've seen so much of it from this government. They're very good at sideshows and distractions because they are very nervous. They're very nervous about what the polls are showing. The polls are showing that their poor economic record, that the scandals around the dot-com affair, the scandals in the ACC system and the inability to tackle the big issues and the focus on tinkering is doing them no good. Doing them no good whatsoever. That is why they're coming back to these cynical strategies which target and kick those who are down. 
So that so the Treasury advice was to put additional measures to support those. Mr Chair. I Mr. call Chair. the honourable member. Is the member seeking a call? No, he's not. Chris Farfoy. <laughs> to lower knee, Mr Farfoy.